Hey guys, Mystic Magic Sims here, and welcome to part 5, I believe, of Let's Play The Sims 3 University Life. In the last part, we got Kyle a boyfriend. Elisa's going was going to be a uh, boyfriend, died tragically in a fire, and um, that's basically it. I was just gonna have them head all to bed, even though- well, actually, no. They were all just waking up. Yeah, he is just waking up, so. He needs to go and get some cereal. That go away. Some cereal, and then take a shower and go to the bathroom. Don't worry about cleaning it. Um, and you need to do the same. So we'll do that, and then you're gonna get some food. Um, you are eating food and you're exhausted, so I think we should have her head to bed, even though it's almost 5 a.m. Hmm. Completely. I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. So, go to bed. Turn that off. Stop dancing. You need to go to bed as well. They are all like... Oh, that is Elisa's bed. Oh, well. And then you're gonna wake up, go to the bathroom, and shower, and then get some food. Alisa and Asala. Okay. Uh, skinny dip with a Noki moon. Weren't we gonna give you, get you to see Texas, though? Eh, maybe a Noki would be nice. Hmm. Steve Texas or Anoki. Hmm. I don't know. Nerd, rebel, except you're the professor. You're a rebel. Hmm. You're doing all that stuff, you're doing all that stuff, and you're about to get up, actually. Let me guess, because you start in three hours. Okay, so hurry up. Yeah, go on. Get on out there. You need to go do stuff. Oh, man. Don't. Don't. You don't have to. Not yet, at least. Go do what you need to do, and then you can head to school. Where are you going for school, anyway? Yeah. Then you're going to school. You start in six hours... Mitchell is now a wannabe within the Jack's social group. Okay. Cool. Five hours attending class now. Um. You need to get to class now. Then you're going to study because you're like failing right now. No offense, but you are failing. Um, blog app, and study hard, and just because I want to see if we can make an, make an exam cheat sheet, cheat sheet, yeah, you are going to make a, an exam cheat sheet, cheat sheet, <laughs> uh. Five more hours, and I am so sorry if you hear that. No way! Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh Tiberius! <sighs> really? Oh, Why don't you go ahead and make an exam cheat? Cheat sheet. Whoops, not what I wanted to do. Make an exam cheat sheet. I want to see what this does. Because I... I don't know, I've never tried it. Hello, Tiberius. Oh, God. He just peed himself. Oh, in front of his boyfriend, too. Oh, that's so sad. Okay. 
Yeah, you don't need to use the bathroom bathroom anymore. Let's give him pure white flowers and whis. Eh, we'll do that later. We are. I thought we already did that. Whisper an ear, stroke cheek, and leap into arms, kiss. And then we're gonna woohoo! Um, what are you doing? You're cleaning up the pu the puddle, aka the pee. <laughs> oh. Um, play sports at the stadium. Maybe later. Um, you're not supposed to be in class right now. That was a close call. Yeah, right. No! Mitchell Arrington is starting to feel a bit ill. So, there is no, unfortunately, no hospital, so we can't go get him, like, a flu shot. I'm not sure if we can in general. No? I'm just checking. Donate giggles. What? Um, that's business, that's the academic center, um, there really isn't, at least not that I see, I don't know, oh well, ah, what are you doing? Drinking some coffee. What are you two doing? That was weird. She's in school, right? Nope, she's coming home. Okay. So, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Um. I, I don't know. Have a quick meal. She's a jock. Right? Yeah. Um, why don't you go ahead and report some campus things. Run advertisements and align radio dishes and then do it again. You can't conduct an interview, unfortunately. And he is actually in a lecture, so. Well, he's going to a lecture, rather. With a werewolf. <laughs> that girl's already sleeping. Oh. And there's the werewolf looking at him like his meal. Muggsy Bro. Brotowski? Muggsy Brotowski. Hmm. Interesting. Um. They're doing that. <laughs> and he's probably going to sleep after that, which is good. And she's practicing her sketching. How good is she getting? Eh, she's okay. I'm not sure that she's that good, but... Oh, well. Two days. Cheat sheet. Aliza, Ali, Alisa has a cheat sheet up her sleeve like an ace of spades. Exams are obstacles no more if she doesn't get caught cheating. When is the exam? Tom oh. Oh, no. Who is feeling ill again? Okay. I'll be there was just invited to a party, received 67 simoleons for her radio advertisements. Quality broadcasting and well-tuned equipment is the recipe for success in radio. Cool. Technically, this is class, so. And she is just outside, or he's just inside doing stuff. Okay. He's sleeping. Oh, first romance. Love has blo bloomed for the first time. Could this be the real thing? I sure hope. <laughs> Attend a party. Sure. 
You're gonna attend a party. And it's windy outside. It's also cold out. I mean, not in my game, <laughs> in real life. It's really cold. It is really cold out. So we're gonna go up and there really isn't much to do. So who's home? You're home. You want to perform a keg stand? Sure. But sh I think she lost her influence with Jax. So I am going to have her get the mail, check the job board for social group jobs. Let's see. It's in the mail. Elisa. No. No. This is too sad. Because he's dead! Alisa just got a letter in the mail from Miles Forthright. It's covered in hearts and little dudes of Miles and Alisa kissing. No. That's so sad. Because he's dead. Oh my goodness. Alisa. Jack influence. Head to the bowling alley and go bowling. Okay. So I never used the bowling alley, alley ever. I've never used it. So we're going to go there. This is the bowling alley. Doesn't look like anything all that special. Just a bowling alley. Who is this? Who are these people? Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go bowling. Go bowl. He's asleep. He's working on the computer doing what? Chatting with someone? Really? First lecture. You University gives you the access to the world's brightest minds. Mitchell just got out of his first guest lecture lecture, and is jazzed about the knowledge he just gained. Okay, you, I think, should... Not sure. She's a jock, right? No, she's a nerd. Come on. We need to gain jock influence. What is he? A level two. That's it. Um, check social group jobs. Jocks are socially motivated, are a socially motivated group that are great at balancing the social life with other needs. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's see. I was actually gonna tr check this out. Uh, head to the bowling alley and go bowling, okay? After you practice the school cheer, and we're going to check the social groups. Okay, so this is basically what the social groups tab looks like. Um, it just says what everything is and stuff like that. Influential nerd activities. As uh, ask other nerds about their degrees. Tell stories or jokes to other nerds. Show other Sims gross videos from your phone. Play video games. Solve equations on the whiteboard. Do scientific research. Work on group science project. Use the brain enhancing machine. Throw things into bonfires. Play arcade games. Chat and gossip with other nerds. Compliment other nerds. Socialize with prominent nerds. Complete opportunities for the nerds. Gossip about roommates to nerds. Practice your pickup lines on unsuspecting nerds. Nerds like boasting about gamer skills. Nerds enjoy being enthused about comic books. Real nerds do battle in trivial challenges. And nerds berate ignorance when it rears its ugly head. So, so far, stats zero, comic books are zero, online gaming hours, and zero trivia challenges one. For the rebel group, it is organizing protest is for true rebels. Tell stories or jokes to other rebels. Speak your heart with an impassioned speech. Rile the crowd at a rowdy protest. Push societal boundaries by daring other sims. Add special herbs to food recipes. Rebels love drinking from the barista bar. Burning herbs in the fireplace is very rebellious. Step up to the podium and complain about the world. Hand out protest flyers, gossip, and goof around with other rebels. Rebels love to be complimented. Socialize with prominent rebels. Gossip about roommates to rebels. Practice your pickup lines on available rebels. Grab a megaphone, rant about anything. Use a megaphone to pro pro proclaim your love. Rebels get done dirty when they dumpster dive, and any real rebel leaves tags or meals on the world. Zero herbs e eaten, zero successful protests, and zero dumpster dives. <coughs> For him, he has the ability to do school cheers when he is in the Jack's social group as a wannabe. 
Um, there's ability to take self-portraits using the smartphone, receive opportunities to rent a party, add a new trait, and receive a career offer to be a sports agent. Um, and I'll just say these as well. Receive a career offer to be an art effort. Add a new trait, unlike an exclusive Rubble smartphone skin, ability to stage a rowdy protest, can now show off new gizmo to others, get away with cheating in university easier, ability to use the podium to say what's wrong with the world or stage a hunger strike, and receive a street art bag and megaphone, ability to sell test answers for simoleons. Receive a Maxoid game simulator, two and a half, ability to play video games online, Ability to issue a trivial challenge. Ability to mind meld with other sims. Add a new trait and receive a career offer to be a video game designer. Okay, so this is the activities for jocks. Play Colligate sports in the stadium. Tell stories or jokes to other jocks. Jocks love playing table tennis. Prove yourself by mastering juice punk bowling. will strike a chord with the jocks. Ha ha ha. I get. I see what they did there. Oh, what? <laughs> Put a perfect spin spin on a flying disc and nothing builds influence with jocks like a bonfire. Gossip about roommates to jocks. Practice your pickup lines on available jocks. Being at parties will build influence with the jocks. Chat, gossip, and goof around with other jocks. Jocks love to be complimented. Socialize with prominent jocks. Host a bonfire party. Throw a juice kegger party. Complete opportunities for the jocks. Perform the school cheer. Take a photo with a friend using the smartphone. Take a self-portrait using the smartphone. And impress other jocks by doing keg stands. So, that's cool. And we can also call them right there. So, yeah. My head hurts now. I'm lightheaded. <laughs> I already knew that. So, we're going to go to the bowling alley with Mitchell as well. Visit the bowl arena and go... with Leah. What are you doing, Leah? He is a rebel. Jeffrey Dean. I knew he was a werewolf. Knew it. Knew it. Um, who's coming? Come bowling with your girlfriend. What are you, contemplating the meaning of life? <laughs> when do they have school? Oh my gosh, I thought that was an actual phone from... <laughs> okay, 15 hours, 15 hours, 23 hours, and 15 hours. So they're just bowling. Oh, go attend that party. So everyone has to go attend that party. Where is the party? Where is the party? <laughs> oh, is this a cool? That's cool. That's cool lake. It's cool. Cool. Um, I don't know. You're not going home, are you? Alisa oh, Bernstein is feeling a bit ill as well. Why are you going home? You're supposed to be going to that party. I don't even know where it is. Oh, it's right there. Attend the party. Attend the party. Oh, can't. Okay. You need to stop. You need to come and attend the party as well. And you need to come and attend the party as well. Um, I'm actually going to have Elisa hook up with hopefully someone here. If there is any. Billy Jean. Just attended the party. Okay. So we're all here. And who is here? Hello, who are you? We like you. 
even though you might be a bit cre- Okay. O okay. Are you an old man? Are you an old man? No, you are not. We are actually going to try and hook up with you. We're gonna get rid of that mustache first, so... Yep, I'm getting rid of it now, because it is just totally creepy. Um, um, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and I just removed his mustache thingy, and he looks, he looks nice. He looks nice. Sid Severus. <laughs> Severus, Severus, Severus Snape! Okay, <laughs> that's all I had to do. Um... So, yeah, we're gonna go and see if we can hook up with him. So, friendly introduction. Can we? Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going on? Study. Study now. Study now. Because you have a test tomorrow. And if you're not doing good, you're not gonna do good. Oh, man. His grades are completely slipping. Never had this before. Oh, well. What the heck? Chat with him. Um. Complain about unfair professors. Can we get to know? Get to know? Yeah. Become friends with Billy Jean. Why do you want to become friends with Billy Jean? I'm thinking we're going to throw a party, actually, like, tomorrow or so. Now, where is a juice keg? We need to do a juice keg. A juice stand. Why are you going home? Why, is the party over? No, it's not. Oh, okay, you're absolutely exhausted, so go home, go home. I'm gonna keep these two talking. Is hot headed. Oh no, that that's not gonna be good. <laughs> um, describe radical idea and celebrity gossip. Can send the mainstream. <clears throat> Talk about art. Talk about obscure music. And talk about university. Cool. Did you hear that Elisa Karam has a photography skill, guys? <laughs> Jocks are socially motivated, hot headed. Hey, Mitchell, thanks so much for coming to my party. Yeah, we're all just gonna head home, you know what? Why not? They're all in, like, a bad mood, so we gotta work with all this stuff. So she's gonna get hungry, so she's gotta go get some food. Um, go shower and use the bathroom. Then go sleep. You need to sleep now. Then you can go ahead and have a quick meal of cereal, shower, and use the bathroom. You need to use the bathroom now. How is your energy? Okay, your energy's fine, but we're going to go ahead and have you head to bed anyway. So you're going to extreme sleep, and then you're going to take a shower. You need to extreme sleep now. And then you're going to have a quick meal of cereal and shower. So, let's keep going. Um, I was thinking that we could get a... One sec, I gotta check how his grades are now. 
Still slipping. God, he's gonna he's gonna flunk out. I'm so scared he's gonna flunk out. He's he's gonna flunk out. I feel it. But guys, I am actually going to end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Be sure to comment below and subscribe for more. And um, yeah, we it wasn't very productive at all, but we went to a party. And we found out his grades are completely slipping, so we need to fix those right away. So guys, um, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys later. Bye.